Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be playing this crazy bridge spam deck on top ladder. I actually faced this bridge spam deck two or three times earlier yesterday, and I thought like, wow, that actually looks kind of fun. Not gonna lie, I got kind of wrecked by it, so I'm like, well, why not try it out for a video here? Okay, wait, I think I'm gonna get a nice battle ram connection. Nice. This deck is pretty cool. You do have the newly buffed Cannon Cart, and then you also have the newly buffed Electro Wizard as well. I feel like Cannon Cart was already underrated before. Now that the Cannon Cart has gotten, like, a nice buff, I feel like the Cannon Cart is, like, extremely good now. I'm not gonna say broken, but I'm gonna say extremely good. And then also, having the E-Wiz spawn in is also kind of nice as well. Just because there is a lot of, like, Mortar decks on ladder, like, a lot of these, like, spammy bait decks with, like, Skeleton King and stuff like that. This deck does pretty well against them. Very nice arrows right there. Amazing arrows value, actually. I think that this guy has, like, the most annoying deck in Clash Royale right now. This guy has Recruits, Wall Breakers, Arrows, Void. Like, this guy has every annoying card all up in one deck right here. He plays a deck that I feel like I would like, but I can just never get behind Royal Recruits. Like, they're just 7 Elixir, and they're so annoying. And the Evo is, like, 6 Charging Dark Princes, man. It's just, like, 6 Dark Princes. Okay, I'm going to Cannon Cart the back here. I need to be really, really careful in single Elixir against this deck, or else I could lose very easily. Okay, he's going to Knight here. I need to let those Wall Breakers go. Sometimes with a deck like this, you just need to let these small damages go, like those Wall Breakers, for example, because sometimes there's really just nothing that you could do without being down a ton of Elixir. Hold up, I don't know how he's going to defend this. I'm going to Evo Battle Ram here and go for the Heal Spirit. The Heal Spirit is super good against this guy because he doesn't have a Barbarian Barrel or a Log. Nice, Heal Spirit connects. Wait, it's killing the Goblins. I'm just going to Arrows. Nice, one more bounce. Nice. That's basically Tower Down. Just need one Arrows to finish it off. Wait, the Mighty Miner, the Mighty Miner. Let's go. Tower Down in one push right there is crazy. Evil Batterim actually destroys this guy's deck. He does have the Evil Wall Breakers. I'm going to have to ignore them. Once again, ignoring the Wall Breakers, but I won't ignore any more Wall Breakers. I can just Battle Ram on defense here. Very solid defense. I think I will just go for the Electro Wizard too, just to make sure that I'm good. Kind of scary sometimes against these massive split lane pushes, but now that he pretty much only can go for the right side, I don't really need to worry too much about defense. I can kind of sacrifice a Mother Witch here as well to avoid, because him going void on my cards is just like him using less Elixir for different cards. Okay, yeah, just gonna Knight here. He will probably go for the Wall Breakers on the right. I'm just saving my arrows for them if I need it. Yeah, just gonna arrows here, and GG's. Very nice win. Can just E-Wiz to make sure that he can't do anything. Let's go, man. This deck has so much defensive potential, actually. I feel like you can defend most stuff with this deck if you play perfectly. We're in the next match here, up against Hypno. And by the way, guys, sorry if I sound a bit tired. I am kind of exhausted. I did play a tournament earlier today. Uh, I woke up at 10 in the morning, but I went to sleep at like 6 in the morning. I couldn't sleep last night. I had like terrible sleep, to be honest. I only slept like 3 hours today, so if I sound tired, that is why, but um... Think sh I think I sound fine, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, guys, if you guys have been, like, wondering what I look like, because on my live stream, so many people ask me when I'm going to do a face reveal, but I've already done so many face reveals. If you guys are wondering what I look like, look at my community post on my second channel, Riley Live. I did post um, a new, like, updated picture of myself, so you guys could check that out there if you guys wanted to. Just for the people who don't know what I look like already or something like that. Okay, I can knight here. He will get a nice double wall breaker connection, but there's not really anything I could have done about that. Just kind of preventing the other damages. I think this is going to be a quite annoying matchup for me, just because of the Cannoneer Tower. If I had, like, any other tower, I'd say this matchup is kind of free for me, because he doesn't have any buildings in his deck, or normally he doesn't. But it's actually going to be so difficult to defend all this spam with the Cannoneer Tower and this very slow cycle. You guys can also replace the Heal Spirit for the Bandit. Some people using this deck do have the quicker cycle with the heal spirit, and then some people have the more pressure version with the bandit, but I really like the heal spirit. I feel like it's very underrated, and I do like the quicker cycle with the heal spirit because I'm more of like a cycle deck player. I will have to go for a heal spirit here just to bring that backwards. Hopefully I don't take a hit. I'm going to, I think. Bro, that's unfortunate, man. At least the Dark Goblin's dead. He's playing this quite well right now, honestly. I feel like Hypno is one of the best log bait players right now, too, for sure. I can Cannon Cart right here. Then I can maybe go for, like, a nice Evo Knight Battle Ram push. I am up a bit of Elixir. I'll just go for the... Hmm, I'm gonna Knight here. I'm gonna have to eat the left side. I'm gonna E-Wiz here, too. This is why the Cannoneer is so bad against his deck, man. Actually so bad. I could get a nice Battle Ram push, though, on the right. Valkyrie to kite this, and then arrows that. And then I could... Oh! 
Nice, I hit the Goblin Gang. Mother Witch? Beautiful Mother Witch. Heal Spirit, come on, heal up everything. Nice, Battle Ram Connection. R amazing Battle Ram Connection. I'm getting so much damage. Nah, but it's not enough though, guys. I do have next Battle Ram Evo. He can't kill the Evo. The only thing he can really do is reset it with the Electro Spirit. If I get his Electro Spirit out of cycle or like somehow kill it with maybe like a Prediction Arrows, it would be game over immediately. But I do have to Arrows there on the right side. So I think I'm just going to lose because he's going to get to another Evo Barrel and it's just game over pretty much, I think. I'll Cannon Cart Middle here. This is awkward. He's going to spam me on the right side right now. I'm 100% sure. I'm going to Evo Ram on the left though. Apply a bunch of pressure so he can't spam me too hard. Just going to Ghost here. I will probably take like... Oh no. I need the arrows on defense. No, Ewis, Ewis, Ewis. Okay, nice. Dead Ewis. Wait, the left side. The, the left side. Arrows. Nice. I hit the wall breakers. Wait, let's go. Tower down. GG's. Really, really good game right there. Man, one Evo Ram pushes all it took. We're in the next game here up against Jesse. This guy plays a lot of Lava Loon. He also plays a lot with Fireball. I've never really seen this guy play with Void, so I really like the fact that he plays with Fireball, honestly. I feel like it's quite respectful. Not that you're like it's this like it's not like bad to use void, I guess. Like I just think like damn, like being up top with, with fireball and not even like the optimal version in void, I think it's very impressive. There's the fireball, very good fireball by him. I'm just gonna go for the E Wiz here, and I could maybe heal spirit, try to heal that up, knight the bridge too. Oh, it's not gonna heal, man. Yikes. A little bit annoying, but it's alright. Everything's gonna die to my E Wiz anyway. Lava with the Fireball is going to be a lot harder than the Void, actually, because at least I can block the Void. Can't block a Fireball. It will be more expensive, though, so maybe I need to abuse that. I'm going to hit Battle Ram here. One more to get to my Evil, which will be nice. He does have the Evil Barbarians and the Tombstone. Yeah, I can just Cannon Cart here on defense. I'll be in a bit of trouble if he goes in for a Balloon, but I don't think he will just because he might not be able to defend the Counter Push if he does that. Yeah, not bad. I'm going to take, like, maybe one Barbarian hit, but... He doesn't have barbarians for this. He's going to have to go for the mega minion. Yeah, there that is. Also, guys, once CRL is over, I promise to give 110% into my videos. I feel like I haven't really given 110% to my videos. And also, 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 I have seen the top comment. And I really like it, honestly. Shout out to the person who said it. I don't remember it off the top of my head right now, but shout out to you, man. I really do like that idea. Oh, what the heck? You just missed a fireball. Um, so basically... The idea was win a grand challenge without repeating any cards. So there's like a bunch of cards in the game. And I've actually heard of B-Rad doing that maybe like two years ago, maybe three years ago. And it's actually a super nice idea. I really want to try it with all the new cards in the game right now. And depending on if I lose or not in the grand challenge, that could be so fun and so interesting as well. Because there's like so many cards. And if I lose, that's eight more cards that I need to use. Because if I go 12 games, 12 times eight, that's 96 but if i lose once or if i lose twice that's eight to 16 more cards and then potentially even like i just think it's a crazy idea i really do like that so i'm gonna try it out for sure also if i go like 11 3 that's 14 games that's even more man like that's crazy really really excited actually to try out that idea and just see what happens honestly i'm just gonna try it maybe once or twice maybe like the second time to get the decks right but after that i feel like it could just be so cool Okay, really good defense right here, but I took a lot of Barbarian's damage on the left. All right. Just going to go for the Knight at the bridge here on the right. Then I could Battle Ram to keep up the pressure. Even though he has Barbarian's, his heal spirit should help me. Okay, just going to Mother Witch here. I think that's going to connect. Come on, let's go. Just going to Arrows here. I think this is game over. Wait, wait, wait. Mother Witch, Mother Witch, come on. Bro, if I don't take the tower here, I could very well lose. He's Okay, wait, he was here. I'm going to quickly heal spirit, and then I can get my Knight at the bridge. Nice. Let's go! Bro, the, those piggies blocking for the e was so clutch, man. Just gonna Evo Ram here, and there's no way for him to stop this and just go for the arrows, take up the tower. That was actually so clutch, because if the piggy didn't block the barbs, my e was actually may have died. We're in the next match here, up against Trig. Just gonna go for my knight in the back here. He does have the Spear Goblins. Spear Goblins, bro, it's probably going to be that Mortar deck. I swear, guys, I uploaded a video on that Mortar deck yesterday, and this is, like, all I face in Ladder. I feel like the meta is quite diverse right now, besides, like, maybe two decks. But this deck, I queue it, like, every other game, I think. Like, to be honest, it's actually been making, like, creating YouTube videos quite difficult, actually, because this is all I face, honestly. 
I, like, I wish I faced some other stuff. Wait, he's going to Fireball. I'll Battle Ram here. Beautiful. I can heal Spirit. Maybe block some of the Skellies. Nice. That Cannon Card's going to kill the Goblin Gang because he had no Night in Cycle right away. Hold up. That's going to kill the Knight. I'm going to go for the Ghost at the Bridge. How does he defend this? He doesn't have Goblin Gang. doesn't have Knight. doesn't have Spears. He has to... Okay, yeah, he Bombers. It's pretty much Tower Down right there. Amazing start. And if he goes for the Mortar, I just have the Cannon Cart for defense. I don't have a big spell, though, so I could still lose. The thing I like about this Bridge Bam deck right here is that it pretty much counters this Mortar deck as long as you play very well. Because it's very hard for them to break through. And the Mother Witch gets a ton of value, too. Okay, I'm just going to Knight here. Probably could have just went E-Wiz, not going to lie, but I kind of panicked. Going to E-Wiz. Electricity! Dude, I feel like I do a pretty good impression of a lot of the cards. Not going to lie. Wait, he has to Goblin Gang. Okay, yeah. He could Mortar, but Mortar wouldn't really be that great of a play. I think I'm just going to go for the Battle Ram here, get to my Evo. Also force out a Mortar from him, hopefully. I could also try to Cannon Cart push this as well. Just try to get like a sneaky lock on the tower. I love doing this with like a few cards. Oh, yikes. That's a dead Mortar. I could Mother Witch that too. Wait, those are bad Spear Goblins. I'm going to get Mother Witch damage here with the Piggies because that Cannon Cart is going to shoot some of the Spear Gobs. Nice. Come on, Piggy. Let's go. An another Piggy. That's going to bring him down quite low. A Mother Witch hit. Beautiful. That's two arrows to finish off the tower. Actually, I no, it's three. It's three arrows. That's not good. I'm just going to go for the Evo Knight here, tank for that. And then I do have the Evo Battle Ram. If I can retarget this and go Evo Ram on the left, then it's guaranteed to take his tower. Yeah, just do this and he can't defend this tower anymore. Yeah, he'll, he'll have to like Fireball. Just heal Spirit here. Heal this up. Log. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. That's tower down. What the heck? How'd that not connect? Oh, the Barbarian got it anyways. But how did that not connect? I'm kind of shocked. It's going to go Knight in the middle here. He's going to block the Cannon Cart. Going to go for the Cannon Cart lower now. And then it will take some time to walk up. I do have Mother Witch and Ewis. Having that nice crowd control is just so good for the random swarmy cards. Like Spears, Skelly Barrel, Skelly King. Okay, we're going to Battle Ram in the middle here. Then I'm going to go for the Ewis on top of that Mortar. I think... I think I won. Yeah, GG's. Let's go. Very nice win right there, guys. I'll see you in the next match. We're in the next match here up against Kevin Sains. Man, I don't like to face this guy. He plays with Expo. I don't have anything wrong with him, but I really just like facing Expo with these kind of spammy decks. Just because if they play perfect defense, you're guaranteed to lose. But on top of it, I have the Cannoneer Tower, which makes me start down 700 HP. So. I have to play like extra good to somehow make up for that damage deficit. He doesn't even have to go in for any expos because at least like before he could like maybe go in and mess up, but can't really have that happen anymore. He goes for the knight. I could just go for my knight here, try to get to my evos early. I think getting to the evos early on will be key in a matchup like this. I have my cannon cart ready for expo. I have to mother witch here. He might tessel up top, so I'll heal spirit to block it. Okay, nice. And then I'll battle ram to keep blocking it. Make sure I take out that tesla. Beautiful prediction right there. Always good to catch those small things like Tesla because they can always like counter push with the Expo. Not really push, but like he would just be able to set up an Expo with that Tesla and then have four Elixir to block for the Expo too and I would just lose the game. I'm going to Ghost and Cannon Cart because I know he's going to Knight the Bridge to block that. And then that Ghost will DPS down that Knight. Perfect defense right there. That was a really smart Ghost. It's going to kill the Expo. I do have my Battle Ram Evo coming up, but I still need to get to my Knight Evo. Kind of worried about that, honestly, because I feel like if he gets to his Evo Archers when I don't have my Evo Knight, it could be a little bit of a struggle if he makes a proper push. Let's see, though. Just going to Knight in the back here. Do have my Cannon Cart up next. I could also Evo Ram if he tries to go opposite lane. He would have to go all in and I could Evo Ram. Okay, there's the Evo Tesla. Kind of a bad Tesla, I would say. Just going to go for the E-Wiz here. Make sure I take out that Tesla because he doesn't really have Knight in cycle, so he shouldn't be able to protect that. Yep, there's the Skellies, and that should be a dead Tesla. Let's go. Just going to Ghost in the back here. I can make a really nice Evo Ram push if I wanted to. Just going to Cannon Cart back here. Bait out the Expo, though, because he's probably going to Expo, right? Because I, uh, I used Cannon Cart the back, but I have Evo Knight. Okay, he didn't. That was smart. I'm going to Mother Witch here. He has to log, and once he logs, I have an idea. I'm going to Evo Knight. I'm going to Evo Ram, and then I can Heal Spirit because he has no log in cycle. Heal Spirit here. Wait. Oh, the Battle Ram got pushed. Wait, Cannon Cart? Arrows here on the Evo Archers? Bro, that just got so much damage. Battle Ram's on tower. The Evo Barbs, the Evo Barbs. Nice. I'm going to Mother Witch here so we can't Skellies. That was so much damage. I can't believe that got pushed. That was so lucky, honestly. That's going to kill one of the Archers. Let's go. Knight's dead. 
He's gonna have to wait. Oh, good log, man. Rip that hit the heal spirit. I'm gonna ghost. Come on. Okay. Not the greatest defense right there at the end, but we'll take it. We'll take it, guys. We'll take it. Just gonna go for my knight in the middle here. And I think this might be game over. He could expo, but okay, I'm gonna mother witch here. I need to make sure that he doesn't win these bridge battles. Just gonna arrows immediately. Quick arrows, gonna go for the battle ram. That should kill the Tesla, and the battle ram's gonna need to be defended again very awkwardly. Heal spirit here to avoid the log this time, unlike last. He's gonna need to defend those barbarians again. Now he has no knight, so I can just go for my own knight. Now I have next knight being Evo, so Evo knight will help out a bunch on defense. Can arrows here on those archers. Beautiful, and that's going to kill the Evo Tesla now. Now he has none of the Evos in cycle. This is looking like a graps game right here. No way that he wins from here unless that I completely choke. I could go for a nice heal spirit here, block a Tesla. Not. Okay, I'm going to cannon cart back here, baiting another Expo. He's kind of getting desperate, but I have the Evo knight, so there's really nothing that he can do from here. Evo Knight, then I can go for the E-Wiz. I'm going to wait a second on the E-Wiz. Yeah, nice. Didn't want it to retarget. I can Mother Witch because you might have to Fireball Heal Spirit here to heal up the Evo Knight. Beautiful. Now, I could maybe even Evo Ram on the left, but I do have to watch out. I'm going to need to get down the Knight quickly because he's going to try to kill that and get a lock on the tower. Oh, that was close. Can go for the E-Wiz. Oh, Battle Ram on tower. Let's go. Going to Arrows that. And I think this is... Bro, come on, man. I think this guy needs to give up, honestly. Unless I lag out, it's over. Cannon Cart. Battle Ram blocked the Ice Spirit to get the Cannon Card on the Expo. Beautiful. I feel like I played this matchup perfectly, honestly. Just going to go for the Knight here. Just need two arrows to finish off the tower. Going to heal Spirit. Going to go for the arrows. Just going to e to tank. There we go. Going to go for the Battle Ram in the middle. Continue tanking. And now we have the Evo Knight. So there's really nothing that can be done by him. GG's. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.